we understand how methane affects global temperature. Um, there's quite a lot of people out there who'd like to sort of kind of pretend this is all very complicated. It's not. Um, we have a challenge um, and we have an obstacle um, and we have an opportunity. Um, the challenge is that we need farmers' help to meet our climate goals. It's very important that everybody understands that the agricultural sector and the livestock sector in particular has an important role to play in meeting the goals of the Paris Climate Agreement. The obstacle is that livestock in general, methane in general, is misrepresented in current climate policy. And at the heart of the problem is the notion of carbon footprints or carbon dioxide equivalent emissions, which give a very misleading uh, uh, impression of the impact of methane emissions on global climate. And the opportunity we have is that if we were to focus climate policy better on actual impacts on global temperatures, then this would actually make it easier, in my opinion, to include agriculture into climate policy. I think it would be fairer on the livestock sector and potentially result in faster reductions in the current rate of warming. What we should be arguing for, um, I believe, just not, not because of any particular, the interests of any particular sector, but because it would just be a more efficient way of doing climate policy, is to frame climate policy in terms of warming outcomes rather than emissions inputs. The problem is, if we just talk about emissions inputs, that's carbon dioxide equivalent emissions from different sectors, then you end up with a situation that a crop farmer who reconverts to forest, um, so they, they plant trees all over their cropland and absorb carbon, they would be rewarded for that because they're reducing global temperatures by taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. However, if we use the traditional input-based accounting methods, a livestock farmer who does the same thing in terms of reducing global temperatures by reducing their methane emissions through vaccines or through um, a, uh, perhaps by reducing their herd size or better manure management or some of the ideas we're going to hear about in this afternoon's webinar, um, would actually simply get penalized less for their ongoing methane emissions. Even though both farms might have had exactly the same impact on global temperatures, past, present, and future. So that makes no sense to me. And it seems to me logical that the livestock sector should be arguing for warming-based accounting of emissions, such that we penalize actions that contribute to increasing global temperature. We reward actions that contribute to reducing global temperature. And of course, we have to ensure that reductions are permanent. There's no point in reducing your emissions if you just increase them again next year, because that means you just restore the warming that you've caused um, in the first place.